Hello and welcome to Visual Basic tutorial number 6. Now this is only going to be a short tutorial, but in this tutorial we're going to be covering um, the console right, and not right line, console right, and how you can also include variables into the console right line um, function. So first of all I'm just going to create two variables, num1 as integer, and I'll make that equal to 5, and I'll dim num2 as integer, I'll make that number 10. Okay, so before when you saw us write out to the screen, you would write console.write line, and that's fine, you can do that. And what that basically does, um, as you've seen before, it writes the value of a variable or the text that you write in. So, hello, it writes it out to the screen. Now, there's also another thing you can do. I can't spell. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'll put a console read line at the end, and just to confirm, it will bring up console write line, and it moves the cursor onto the next line. Now, what we can do is we can actually write console write and what happens then is if we run it it writes the word hello out to the screen but it doesn't move the cursor to the next line now this is quite handy because it means that you could do a console write um, hello and you could write console dot write and space hello my name is Zach save that and run it and now these two strings will be joined together now of course that's not the best way to do that because if you're writing things out to the screen you're usually writing it in, uh, out from a variable anyway but that just let you know you can actually do that and it's quite handy if you want to say um, prompt the user to input something into the system without writing it on a new line and then having to them to enter it on a new line you can say uh, what is your name say do that and then the console read line will bring it down onto the next line. Okay, and now the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can involve a um, variable into a console write line or console write as well as text that you've written in yourself. So console.write line and now we want to put the value is and then we want to say what the value is. And usually what you'd do is console write and then you'd do a console write again and put out the value to the screen. But what we can actually do is we can write a curly bracket, a zero and another curly bracket. And that's sort of like a placeholder. That is where the variable will be um, inserted into the text. And now if you stick a comma after the last speech mark and write the variable that you want to display, num1. And what that will do is, uh, read line. Uh, what that will do is put that num one five where this in the text is, and I'll just show you that now. The value is five. So there's a, a quick little way of how you can involve variables, and you can also do that for um, two variables. So you say plus and one. And you just increment this value for each of the variables you want to add in. Number two. Save that. And that will say the value is 5 plus 10. And there you have it. So I thought I'd just show you that because it, it comes in quite handy when you are um, creating a user, well, not a user system, but a little program. And it's quite good to just sort of uh, be able to format the text in the console a little bit more. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. So, yep. Yeah, I um, hope that's been useful, and subscribe to the channel, give, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you